Hello everybody and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's gonna be time for some Total War Attila with the Age of Justinian mod as the Swabian Kingdom. Okay, so we're uh, building up our income, building up our armed forces right now, and hopefully we can attack the Visigoths here in a little bit. They're still not at war with anybody. They're just kind of building up their power, which does worry me, I will admit. Let's go ahead and enter there. Uh, income is good. Income is really, really good for right now. And our armed forces are, are coming along. But um, like I said, I, I'm not sure if we can attack the Visigoths one on one until they go to war with somebody else. Um, I'm expecting that they're going to go to war in the north. Historically, the Visigoths went to war with the Franks. Uh, our Imperium level is noteworthy. We can have we have some more governors. That's good. This governor here seems to have uh, leveled up. Hariulf. Hariulf. Let's see here. Research rate. He's a sage, apparently. Books are the mightiest weapon in the war against ignorance. <laughs> and we can give him some zeal as well. Zeal helps out with... Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll give him some zeal, I guess. That's fine. Plus four zeal gives integrity and missile damage. Sure. I mean, he's not a general. He's, he's only, you know, a, uh, a governor, but I'll take what I can get. Okay, so growth is going to be really good here because we have some food. Let's see. A food surplus means we have replenishment and growth plus two in all provinces. Beautiful. We're going we're gonna to want to get, I think, an Aryan Baptistry here once we have plus four population surplus. This guy's going to build on up. That's a pretty beast army right there. Holy damn. And sanitation. Yeah, we still have actually positive sanitation here. What are the effects from having good sanitation? Are there any? Resettlement? Not sure. Growth plus five. That's worth it. We don't really have anything else to spend money on besides another army. Marksman. Ooh, patron. Not bad. This guy's a fearless warrior. This guy's a fighter. Plus one unit experience for melee recruits. Sure. He's uh, He's got five influence. He's 32 years old. Sure, sounds like a good general to me. We get some Germanic spearmen. Some hurlers and some cav. Just outright. I right, so give him some spearmen and some uh, some slingers. Let's see here, 3707. Yeah, we got a little bit of a reserve of money. We'll start converting some of these um, some of these torps here. Yeah, 1885, 1508. That's not too bad actually. It's pretty cheap. We can assign a provincial governor down here in Lusitania. I don't really like this guy. Six loyalty. That kind of worries me. Power and Imperium, personal loyalty. He's got a lot of influence though. He's 19 years old. He's a little. He's a little young. I'd prefer this patron guy. We'll actually go ahead. We'll let it slide till the next turn. I'd really prefer to have that guy with the with the plus ten percent on culture and um, I believe it was farming. He seems like a good a good target for a governor. All right, there we go. We get a good omen. Public order plus two. Sweet. We got some troops. Wow, our income declined significantly. Holy shit, pretty expensive. So let's go and take, come over here to Lusitania. We want a governor. And we're going to take this patron guy. Plus 10% wealth from culture. Yeah, that guy. And then we're going to go ahead and have an edict. Um, public order is kind of bad. Aryan Christianity is making its way, though. Up to four plus bonus from presence in Aryan Christianity. Or we could do this growth. I'm actually going to go for this resettlement because we want some growth here to get another building slot. This army's good to go. Let's go and convert these structures here. And that'll be it for now. That's all we do. What's up with the Visigoths? Jesus. Mm, opportunistic. He's unreliable. He's rebellious. He's trading with the Romans and the Ostrogoths. Hmm. Huh. I mean, the balance of power, it's, you know, it's its its there. We have five settlements. He's got 13. Honestly, we might be able to beat him um, if we do, like, a shock and awe campaign. I'm not sure if our income is going to support three full stacks. I might be able to do two. And I have a shock and awe campaign to seize Augusta and Emerita. And then we have one army that defends the north here in this pass. We take the south and don't attack the north until it's time. 
Can I get any agents? Ooh, a champion would be pretty cool. What about down here? I kind of need an agent. Um, like a spy. Hmm. I might get a champion. That, that'd be worth it. But I'm kind of looking for a spy. The Visigoths wanted a non-aggression pack. We're not going to go ahead and accept that. And if he declares war, that means that, that he's confident in his ability to defeat me. Let's see. Elopement. Between this woman and this guy is, what, my governor? One of my governors? One of your daughters has been enticed by a suitor and is planning to elope? One of my daughters? Yeah, I prefer not. We get a coin forger for one of our uh, governors. We got some buildings constructed. Heruli, Ostrogothic Kingdom. Heruli and the Ostrogoths. The Vandalic Kingdom uh, is following Latin Christianity. He used to be Aryan. Ooh, that sucks. And then the Ostrogoths and the Burgundians have gone to war. So the Ostrogoths are busy. Which I'm assuming if the Visigoths are friendly with the Ostrogoths, we should see something happen. Wow, we just went to strength rating of 10. Holy shit. We are, we are very powerful. We're very wealthy. Look at that. Our income shot back up like crazy. Damn. Nice stuff. Let's go and convert this, and then uh, we can go ahead and train some more troops. Let's do, yeah, we'll do we'll do more Germanic experiment and Germanic hurlers, and then we'll get some cavalry in that force. We'll have to probably transfer. We'll have to swap these forces. This guy will come south. This guy will go north. Let's do that. Soon, soon we go to war with the Visigoths. Soon. Actually, I do like that idea. We should invade the south and then just hold down the north. Just defend the north. It has been Ooh, the Romans broke off their uh, trade agreement with me. That sucks. I guess because we're too powerful, he doesn't like rivaling empires. We failed that mission. That's okay, though. Trade agreement broken with the Romans. Okay. This helps us out with growth. We got some uh, level 3 sanitation. We got some dikes that we can use for some growth and some more sanitation. Let's go and take a look at our cultural buildings here. Let's go for local traditions. Uh, wealth plus 2% in cultural buildings. Ooh, Germanic horsemen. I'm not gonna lie, those Germanic horsemen would be pretty cool. I mean, those guys are like heavy melee shock cavalry. They're pretty beast. Wow, we are really, really rich. We have, we have a lot of wealth. We're gonna go ahead and swap these armies. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm going to swap these armies. So, yeah, this is going to be our invasion stack. What's going on with the Visigoths still? He's still peaceful. Oh, my God. He fucking allied the Ostrogoths. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. Mm. Greetings in the name of our Lord. Hates rival empires. Wow, we are ninth in the world in strength. Romano, Africa. Come on, buddy. You, are welcome. you want some trade? The Visigoths don't want to trade with them. Romans, Roman Africa. What about an NAP? Speak what do you do with terms. them? No. What about the Moors? Do not try my How about a trade agreement and an NAP? Really? You don't want an NAP? Oh, screw it then. I might even have to invade this guy. Ooh, look at that. Romano Africa actually took Tamasiga. This guy's at Tangiers. Okay. Ready for battle. All right, let's go and end the turn there. I'm just gonna save up some money. Actually, I think we should just save up some cash for now. Um, let's get let's get the uh, the stack in Bracara. Let's get this guy to be a full stack, just fully equipped with infantry, cavalry, and artillery, and we'll see what we can do from there. You have brought this on yourselves. Are you Don't shitting me, Romano? Africa declared war on me. Are you dumb or are you stupid? The Council of Carthage, AD 397. Carthage, a historic gathering of churchmen, has assembled to agree the official canon of Christian scripture. We get plus um, public order up to 10% presence of Aryan Christianity everywhere. Sweet. He's our general. He just leveled up. Replenishment plus 2%. He's a logistics expert, expert apparently. Our founder, or our faction leader. Let's do that. And then melee attack plus 3 for commanded force. Excellent for a wolf. He's got a pet wolf, apparently. Let's go ahead and... Romano Africa, huh? Oh, 
I'm not gonna lie, I actually kind of want to go and invade that dude. Tamasiga. Yeah, and then he's got he's got a settlement in Caesarea. Oh my god. The Moors are sieging down Caesarea. Holy shit. What does the religion look like over here? Looks like Greek Orthodox. Let's see. How, how fast could I get here? Two turns, huh? What about Force March? In like one turn. Screw it. Yeah, let's go ahead and invade this guy. We'll take Tamasiga. I know this is kind of dangerous, but... We have this army back here, and we can just build up this force. I don't think there's too much of an issue with uh, Ready for orders. with invading um, North Africa. That's fine. Let's see. What do I want now? We need some Germanic Warband. And do two bows. Uh, we're going to want like three or four cav. Man, maybe four cav. Or I could do... Let's see. I got three. This is four cav. Two artillery, and... Let's see, two bows, two hurlers. Four cav is good. These calves are gonna be, these cavalry are gonna be dope. And then once we get some Germanic horsemen, the shot cav will be even better off. But I have one more unit slot. I'm thinking either a no noble Germanic swordsman or just one more warband. Yeah, let's do one more warband. That's gonna be an expensive ass army. Holy crap. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn there. Let's see. We have Christian support. Christian following. Religious influence plus 20 Greek Christianity faction wide. Uh, is that for... Where is that for? Is that like everywhere? I don't know. We don't have any Greek Christianity here. So, I don't know. That's weird. In fact, we might even be able to invade Talmasiga and then go to Tingis against the Moors and then invade the Visigoths from the south. Ooh, that'd be cool. Let's see, assassinate the following character, huh? Who the hell's this? This guy? You want me to assassinate him? What's wrong with you? Jesus Christ, even just getting the warband was incredibly expensive. 200 upkeep each, that's 600. Jesus. Yeah, it's going to be expensive to, uh, to supply these armies. Caesarea is about to fall. The Romano-Africans will be no more. Jesus, the Visigoths are now fourth in the world. They're still not at war with a damn person. They're at war with nobody at all. Welcome, but expect... Mono Africa, we're at war. The Moors. We could actually pretty easily take out the Moors. I think we might actually focus in North Africa for a while. That might be something we have to do. Unless these Visigoths declare war on me or something. It's possible. They might actually do it. They might see where my troops are and they might declare war. Some sort of shock and awe campaign. That would suck because we only have one army to defend two different theaters. Our Imperium is now impressive. We can have more governors and such. Matter of state, the holy site, subject Aldegar. When I awoke this morning, there was a large throng of people standing around my rock in the fields. They're spoiling my crops. Interesting. Let's go take a look at that in a minute. We get a rank gain for, I believe, one of my governors. See, he's got wealth plus 40% from cultural buildings. Jesus Christ, because he's a patron. Nice, man. Good stuff. That's a lot. I don't think we have any culture here, but we will soon enough. Let's take a look. What do I want next? We just got a uh, civil tier one, public order plus one. Excellent. I think I want this, the mastery of terrain. We're gonna want those. Um, yeah, we want those horsemen. We have African rebels. Look at that. What the hell? I'm gonna take this. Let's go and occupy this place. Occupy or loot and occupy. Minus 20 turns for stability. We'll go ahead and just occupy it. Your orders. Yeah. We have military jetties. We have a bathhouse. We get to repair everything before we can convert stuff, so. This is a hamlet. Warriors all. Oh shit. 
That is impossible. For the tribe. Uh, okay. Interesting. Let's go to our subject here, Aldegar. The holy site. Uh, they claim St. Vitus once rested there on his way to Rome. There's a rock in my fields. They're spoiling my crops. Ignore the issue. Buy the land. Shall purchase your land and construct a shrine to the saint. Ignore the issue. Deal with it yourself, old man. Or charge entry. Yeah, buy the land, I guess. Sure. How are we doing up here? Plenty of, yeah, plenty of, um... Plenty of positive public order up here. That's nice. Yeah, we're gonna finish up that army. Oh, these cavalry are gonna be incredibly expensive. Jesus Christ. So going to end a turn there. We can still assign a damn governor to Mauritania. Still don't like this guy. I'd rather prefer somebody else. Logistics expert, replenishment, plus one. What is this guy? This guy's just a statesman. So he's just, yeah. All right, fine. We'll give him Mauritania. And we're going to need some Aryan Christianity up here. Yep, let's do it. Doctrines of Arius. Let's do it. And then turn there. I think we will invade the Moors, actually. Um, I'm going to go double check here. The Vandalic Kingdom have ended their trade agreement. Oh, shit. That means they're hostile, probably. Ooh. Let's find out. Festival. It's been quite some time since we've had a celebration, huh? Interesting. Population surplus in Lusitania. The Vandals and the Berbers went to war. The Vandals and the Berbers. Are you kidding me? How is Caesarea still around? What the hell? Oh, wow. Look at that. We researched this in one turn. Holy damn. Sweet. Let's go forward to find army taxation. Recruitment cost minus 10% for melee. Sweet. What's going on with you, buddy? Welcome, I suppose. No. Do I guess we just stay at war with them. I don't know. Ready for battle. Leave none alive. Let's kill these rebels. For the tribe. And we'll go ahead and just hang out here. Yep. And then let's go ahead and convert some stuff. So we dismantled that. We can convert this to a troughs. These military jetties. I don't really want military jetties here. I think, I, I think I'm going to go for the trade jetties. The military jetties are nice, but I don't think I'm going to be fighting at sea very much. This could be a torp. Uh, yeah, might as well get this. And then this is, this is fields. Let's go and dismantle that. I think I might have to get an Aryan baptistry over here. If we're going to invade the Moors, the Moors follow what religion? The minor religions. And he's incredibly weak. Why exactly? I'm not really sure why. Oh, let's go ahead and upgrade. Yeah, this is our, our leader. Let's go ahead and upgrade this guy. Let's go for melee attack. Let's go for that wolf. And then we'll go for... Horde construction cost, a raven, or a hunter. Ammunition plus 3%. Yeah, let's go ahead and do ammunition plus 3% for our, our king here. We got some um, military traditions for this army. Wardens of the tribe and guerrilla warfare. Morale for force battles. An ambush chance plus integrity and owner allied territory. Sure. That's fine. Um, unrest is bad here. But if this guy's really weak, I want to go for Tingis. How fast can I get there? It looks like two turns, or one turn even. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, let's let the unrest build up here. That's fine. Let's see, subject wants to throw a festival. We can, we can ignore a festival, we can have a ritual to the gods, military victories, or we can have a celebration to the people. Let's go for a celebration with the people. It sounds better. This army's just about done. One more turn here. We can have these guys upgrade to horsemen, medium melee cavalry. It's worth it. Let's do it. It's expensive, but it is worth it. And these are mounted brigands. Germanic raiders for 10 more upkeep. Let's do it. And it's also worth it over here. Okay. Income's not bad. Income's... It's, it's, it's okay. It's not too shabby. Let's go and end the turn there. Enemy killed in battle. Obviously.
All right, let's see what we can do in North Africa. I actually do like this plan. I think if we secure North Africa, invading, invading the Visigoths will not be that hard. Let's secure all... Let's maybe try and secure all of Mauritania. We got tribute. Tax rate plus 5% faction wide. Nice. Cool. This is from the Holy Site event. Sweet. Food shortage in Mauritania. Ooh, actually that is true, isn't it? Uh, I can go for... Maybe I, re maybe I will rebuild that. We actually do have rich fertility here. Let's actually rebuild that farmstead then. That's fine. And then if we're going to invade Tangiers right now, let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Sweet. That was an easy victory. We can subjugate them. We can sack it. We can occupy. We can loot and occupy. Let's go and just occupy it. We're going to hang on to this territory here. And he's got an open building slot. We'll do an Aryan baptistry. Romano Africa still owns Caesarea, the uh, province capital. Let's do an Aryan Baptistry. This is a Town Commons War pair that. This is a Jetty, and then this is... Yeah, this is a Vicus. It's a Latin, Latin Town Center. Okay. Excellent. And then this army here... Germanic Horsemen, Onagers... That's weird. How do I, how do I have 19 out of 20? Oh yeah, we never built that last uh, Horseman, did we? Yeah, four cav. Four cav is the way to go. Five inventory, or nine inventory. Four ranged. That's perfect. I like that. Damn, this is actually going to be very, very rich, rich territory here. For that farmstead, all sorts of stuff's going to happen. I'm not going to unrest my kills, though. Shit, I'm a little scared for that. Hmm, I also probably should have had resettlement edict, but that's okay. Minus 10%, that's fine. That's fine. What about this place? Growth is okay. We could probably prefer something else, though. Tax rate and then almsgiving. We do not need the construction costs here anymore, I don't think. We're fine. Let's go for the almsgiving. The tax rate's going to be nice. What about here? We're still doing... Yeah. We have enough growth for another, another building here. Celtic paganism, Latin Christianity. Those are all on the rise. I guess we'll just keep... Let's keep that then, that resettlement for that growth. That's going to be fine. Uh, I don't have any money to build anything there, so we'll have to hold off for a second. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I think I'm going to take a quick break here, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to uh, like, subscribe, and comment if you like the video. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Thanks so much.